Hi there, I'm Dr. Tom Martin from the University of California, San Francisco, and we're here in Germany. And I'm here uh, talking with blood cancers today, uh, looking at some of the results from ASCO that just happened last week. And we just finished an IMW G, uh, uh, myeloma working group meeting. It was a tremendous meeting with over 100 myeloma specialists throughout the world. We discussed what updates in smoldering myeloma, the use of MRD for assessment of response for myeloma, uh, new agents in early relapse, late relapse, and really fun data on what's going on with the refractory um, therapeutics, including CAR T cells and, and bispecific T cell engagers. Now, hot off the heels of ASCO, there's some presentations that happen there that are going to happen here. Some of my favorites, number one is obviously the CARTITUDE 4 study. This is a a CAR T cell therapeutic, a BCMA targeted CAR T. It's approved for use in late line relapse refractory, four prior lines of therapy of myeloma. But this was a large randomized phase three study that tested this CAR T cell therapy, therapy in patients that had received one to three prior lines of therapy. So moving CAR T cell therapy into earlier lines of therapy. Um, 200 patients were treated in each arm. One arm was Siltacel or the CAR T cell therapeutic. The other arm was a standard triplet, either daratumumab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone, or daratumumab, bortezomib, and dexamethasone. Um, and what the exciting news is, the, the, the data showed that the CAR T cell therapy was um, much better in terms of um, overall response rates, as well as PFS with a hazard ratio of 0.26, so a very significant hazard ratio. The overall response rate was 85%, um, and that was intent to treat, and just over 30 patients did not actually receive the CAR T-cell therapy. If you take all those that received the CAR T-cell therapy, the response rates are well over 95%, so still pretty impressive data, the early line setting. Um, although follow-up is short, we don't know if this is going to lead to a long-term plateau in the, in the curve. We don't know if we're going to be able to cure any early line uh, relapse patients with CAR T-cell therapy, but we're very excited with these data. In addition, the other one I want to tell you about is a combination of telketamab and teclistamab. This was in the late line setting. Telketamab and teclistamab had an overall response rate of 96%. And, and really amazing, 32% of the patients had EMD in the response, and EMD patients was 86%. This is by far the highest response rate ever seen. So very exciting data, looking forward to see more about early, uh, newly diagnosed myeloma, early relapse, um, et cetera, and have a nice day.